Good afternoon, YouTube. So I took the Radley muffler to work today. Um, pulled this out of there. That was the catalytic converter set up inside of it. Like, look how restricted that. These holes were for the um, uh, to reinforce where the studs go through to stiffen it. Uh, but yeah, so I'd have to go through those holes or around and through this honeycomb crap and then oh, like that's bad. So now it's just basically an empty box. So that's more gooder. Because my wife would hit me if I if I say gooder to her. So much gooder. And oh yeah, it's for welding this. So on the ban uh, Beijing Banshee, this was just uh, mild steel, uh, like blue finish, like hot rolls of steel, right? This, when I pulled it up, I just assumed that it was just galvanized steel, whatever reason. Um, that's what I assumed. Uh, so I started welding it, and on the other one I used Everdure or silicone bronze TIG welding it to reseal the seam. Um, that didn't work so well. It just would not take on. I was like, well, what the fuck? And fucking put a magnet to it. Slightly magnetic, not very magnetic, so it's obviously some kind of stainless steel. So whatever. Throw away the silicone bronze, grab a stick of fucking uh, a 308 welding rod. Um, it's still welded like shit. It almost, um, no, I TIG weld all kinds of metal, but it almost was TIG welding like, um, like Hastelloy, if anyone's familiar with that, or like a really shitty Inconel. Uh, because it just wasn't welding nice, and like, fuck. but slightly magnetic, so it's obviously a ferretic uh, stainless, non austenitic stainless, so it was, I don't know, I'm just calling it stainless chinesium, because, you know, it could be a 409 series, because they use that mufflers like Magnaflow and shit, uses that 409 stainless, but that welds nice, this welds like shit, so I maybe it's a recycle, but this is pure 100% stainless chinesium. But anyway, it's gonna get this bad boy back from right here, and... Hopefully I can test fire tonight. It's actually fucking raining. It's been raining here all fucking day. It's kind of annoying. Okay, well, where are my parts? Where are my parts? Parts, parts, parts. I'm going to pause you guys while I figure out what to do with my parts. Okay, I found the stuff. I should be more organized because I'm horrible for that, so... But it's, the thing is, look at my bench where it's just like fucking shit mess. But I actually put everything up on the shelf where it's kind of sort of organized. So I didn't expect that because I'm stupid. But anyways, get this guy on here. This, I don't know if this made it. This probably made out of fucking lead and asbestos. That's what it feels like. But it actually reminds me of like those donuts and ex old exhaust manifolds. Okay, so... I need a muffler. Found that pretty easy. Okay. Wait, oh, that's why. I have a dog sit on here. There we go. Problem solved. A little bit of that. These lower screws always start with these lower screws before you tighten up the bolts go through. Otherwise, you'll be swearing. Don't ask how I know that, but it's just. One of those stupid little things. Bada bing, bada boom. So I might go start this later, we'll see. Um, I got a 20s bar in for a full chisel chain. I don't think I'll be cutting anything today, so I might just wait till tomorrow where it's, you know, it's supposed to be quite a bit nicer. It's supposed to be uh, low 20s, about 75 Fahrenheit ish. And sunny. Although we need the rain because there's fire bands out west in western Alberta and forest fire down by Rocky Mountain House. But, so hopefully they're getting rain down there too because that would be awesome. Get that. I'm sure this saw is going to rip a lot better than it did though. There's no doubt in my mind. Also today I picked up an old uh, home light bandit string trimmer. Neighborhood giveaway thing. Uh, on Facebook and saw it there. I'm like, oh fuck, I'll grab that. I might actually port that in hot rod, put a pipe on it, just go full retard on it. I shouldn't say retard, I guess, but anyways. Okay, so muffler. Okay. Put that nice and tight. Very tight. Okay, that's on there. So, there's those two holes. I was almost thought of just leaving the holes there, but I don't think I should. 
because I almost feel like there should be a bit of a baffle in there or something just to, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. So I might just open these up a little bit and then that'll be that. Use a scrunch. I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna go in there and just kind of pry these up like so. Just give it a little bit better flow. So I pour things like complete hacks, so I mean it's not like it's gonna have maximum performance, but it's definitely gonna be better than it was. Get the little cock sucker on there. I mean, this is Chinese, and it, it really might be recycled stainless, so it's just like a mixed bag of shit from whatever factory it came from. It's just welded really, really poorly, like, wow. Even turned up the argon to about uh, 25 cubic feet per minute, just to see if that would help, but nope. Just fucking big bag of shit. Because sometimes with aluminum, you want to crank the argon a little bit, yeah, but that's high frequency, so that's a little bit different anyways. Okay, so I'm going to put this together, um, I'm going to, also that's why, actually I'm going to wait till the start, because, because these air filters are not the greatest, um, I'm actually going to just take some, especially you can see, you can see gap in there, like, fines could totally get in there, um, so I'm going to take some, just Permatex RTV black and just smear it around there, just seal up that seam, and I'm going to actually even, Cut some down here. Why not? It's not going to hurt anything. It'll just take an extra second to take it off. Actually, I'll keep that on camera doing that so maybe someone can pull her in something. Or not. Learn how to be disorganized like me. What's that? Black soap on the. This is the shit I want. This is the shit. Because this is not going to come in contact with. No, fuck, this is dried up. Motherfucker. You motherfucker. Isn't that awesome? I barely use this, and that's probably why. Oh, God. I hate when this fucking happens. So I should use it more often, but this stuff has very little use on chainsaws, in my opinion. Moto Seal is the way to go. I, think it's just, uh, I don't think Moto Seal would be good for this application. Ah, oh, fuck. Jesus, fuck. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like I said, smear it around that seam just to seal it up. And I think this will be a good, good thing. Because on the submix, I know it's fine as we're getting in. And that's not good, especially when you have a bare, these have bare aluminum cylinders and chrome pistons, like the Poulins. I've seen some people claim theirs have chrome, but I've never seen one. And, uh, yeah, just, it, I mean, it could be. Just because I haven't seen one doesn't make them not so, but. You know, on AliExpress, looking through them, I mean, no, say chrome bore. Uh, and even if they did, it's probably just silver fucking spray paint on the inside. Chrome spray paint lining. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna get all dirty for supper with this shit. Okay. Looks like absolute ass, but you know what? It's gonna fucking do the job. So, there's that. Let that sit. Find a fucking rag. Spark plug back in her. Uh, actually, no, that should wait until I get the top cover on, I guess. Top good. Cooperating. Cooperate. Cooperate. Let's see this one there. That might help. 
Probably have a choke as well. That could be handy dandy. Mind you, with the primer, you probably don't actually fucking need it. I don't understand why these are. They do that with these. I don't. Son of a bitch. I do not understand the point of a primer bulb when you have a carb with a choke. I like my weed whacker has one. I've never fucking used it because you don't need to use it. If it's running properly, if you just let shit sit and carb issues and sounds like the trimmer I picked up today. I'm sure all it needs is fucking carb kit. Actually I know what that's all it needs. That's what I've noticed with all these Chinese saws, these covers never go on awesome. Something to be desired there. Like this, if it's not lining up, it should. That one's lined up. Start with him. Get that one in the hole, get a little deeper in the hole. For this, I'm gonna do an unboxing video. I got something from China again, so I don't know what it is. Could be a lot of things, might be a piston cylinder, could be a, that muffler I was waiting for, which that'd be alright too. And there will be a video for that. These never fucking line up good. Like, you can get it, you can see that they, they will go in, but not straight. Because the, the Molding's just off that much. As you start dipping going, it'll stretch the, mold, the plastic into place. It's, this is one of those things. It's not like it's, it's a fucking Husqvarna, high end Husqvarna where you expect nice fit and finish. Or steel. I don't care for steel that much. Never have, I don't know why. I was younger, fucking looking at chainsaws and camping, and I never had the money, but I always. I like the Husqvarna's thing. I like the orange, I guess. Okay, this is going good. Let's smear some RTV down there, too. I wasn't able to use that other carburetor I had. I think I mentioned that in the last video. Just because... A few reasons. It's just... I didn't want to deal with it. This one will be fine. I just need to order the proper eccentric tool to uh, actually tune it. Instead of just pressing a thing that doesn't fit into it and trying to turn it. So that's not very accurate. is in, get a little more RTV, squeeze it down here, just a little bit, don't go too stupid with it, just a little bit of extra protection so fines don't get in there. Some people with these two, they're like, oh, it's just, it's just the mesh air filter, that's not good. You know what, that actually works perfectly fine, it really does. Um, I prefer pleated paper elements myself. These do work fine, except these ones are just very, very cheaply made. Try and do this without getting too much crap on my fingers. It's actually a poor fit to begin with, but whatever. It is what it is. Hopefully once I cinch this down, it'll fit better. It's kind of sitting up on there, like... I think it might work more of the uh, pleated air filter setups. Especially with this one, because I think the top cover has enough clearance to accept it. Like on the Beijing Banshee, the top cover will not fit, so it's just kind of sitting out there, just... Which is okay, but... Okay, it's kind of seal in there. Yeah, just going. There we go. Clean my hands. Don't get fucking RTV all over the cover. Not that it matters too much.
And here's where the apples to apples comparing this to last time is gonna feel so much better. It's gonna fly out the window because I've been putting. Or should I? No, I'm not. I'm gonna. As I do have a 20 inch bar and chain from the submix with a full chisel chain. I was gonna put that on, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna use the semi chisel. Touch the chain up just a hair because I was out cutting with it last weekend. It's the light file and then go in the same log and compare. Anyways, YouTube, take it easy. I gotta do an unboxing video for Chinese crap. Take it easy.